live by godly convictions. Daniel chapter 1 and verse 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. The story of Daniel is a very interesting one and also a very inspiring one. As we uh, look at the life of Daniel, there are some amazing lessons that we can draw and inspiration uh, that we can gain. The first thing I'd like to highlight in Daniel's life is that Daniel was a man of godly convictions. Imagine a young man just about the age of 16, uh, sent off into exile. He had to leave his hometown uh, away in a strange and foreign land, the land of Babylon. And there he's been handpicked uh, to serve the government of Babylon, to serve the king of Babylon, who's known for his uh, harsh and mean and uh, strong-handed rule. And here the 16-year-old Daniel, as he is brought into the courts of this king and has been assigned to a person who would train him, along with several other young men, train him and prepare them to serve in the king's court, Daniel stands by his conviction. He opts out of the food that was being served to the young people and instead he makes requests to eat the certain kind of food that he has been taught and trained to eat. Now this may be a simple thing, but yet it demonstrates to us the strong conviction that Daniel had. It reveals to us that even at this age, at the age of 16, Daniel knew what he had to live by and he was willing to stand up for it or to stand with it, stand by his convictions. So he had been taught and trained as a Jewish young boy that these are the kinds of food you eat and these are the kinds of foods you refuse. And so here in a difficult situation, far away in a strange land, he stands by those convictions, things that were imparted to him. And, and not only do we see this here at the very beginning of his life, but even later on, when Daniel is a, a, a young man and he is serving in the courts of the king, in the second chapter of Daniel, we see Daniel again standing by his convictions when he uh, goes to the, uh, the, the king's man and says that he wants time to pray and ask God for a revelation of the dreams. We see much later when Daniel is serving uh, under a different king, the, the king of the Medes, uh, that he once again stands by his convictions and he goes and prays even though his life was at stake if he did that. So he was a man of godly convictions and his convictions were based on his personal faith in God. Now his convictions were what he lived by even in his workplace. So not just during his teenage years as I mentioned, but later on when he was in the courts of the kings, he lived by those convictions. And keep in mind that Daniel served in the courts of three different empires, a very powerful, very strong, and yet he stood by his convictions and his convictions endured through time. They didn't weaken, they didn't wane, but he was, they kept him firm uh, through the years. So I wanna encourage you and I that we must be people of conviction. Our convictions must be godly based on our faith in God and we must learn to stand by our convictions. Remember that old saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. What are your convictions? What are you willing to stand up for? Daniel was a man of godly convictions. Let's live by godly convictions. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will help us be very clear of what we have to live by God of the convictions that we uphold within our hearts and that we will live by in everyday life, in everyday situations, anywhere and everywhere. Help us to be people of godly convictions. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.